Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my empties for September. I know I said in a previous video that this empties was going to be a huge one, but I was going through the items yesterday to calculate my totals um, that I'll put at the end of the video like I normally do. Um, and it seemed to be okay, so um, hopefully you won't need to take a break at some point during this video. Hopefully it'll be quick and over and done with. Uh, first things first, I did declutter some things. Um, I'm not going to rehash it out in this video. I have already taken most of the stuff out of my box. Um, the stuff that was going in the trash anyway. Some of it's going to other people, which I will be posting. I'm not showing that stuff again. If you want to see what happened in my declutter, I will link that in the description box down below for you to go ahead and look at. Um, so I'm just going to start taking stuff out. If I take stuff out um, and you're like, what was that? She took that out. It's just stuff that either you've seen before that I'm keeping in here, like the Lush Pots. I've been keeping these for months on end because I still haven't been back to Lush to trade them in yet. Um, and I've got some empty tea boxes here, which, spoilers, I finished some teas. Um, but I'll show those boxes in the Project Tea. The tea boxes are not included in the totals of my makeup and beauty empties. So that's all that is. It's just me taking out things that either you've seen already that I'm just keeping the containers for, or it's stuff that I've depotted and it's not finished yet, so I'm not ready to show you it yet, or it's stuff that you'll see in another video. So that's what that is. Please don't sit there and think, hey, she's cheating, she's taking stuff out, because that would be weird. Why would anybody do that? Um, so the first thing then that I finished up this time around was the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This was in the Flavor Tropical. Um, I can't tell you whether it was tropical or not, but I do enjoy the scent of Batiste. I just wish it would stay around more. I often find myself like, this is really, really good smelling, and then you can't smell it after like an, a minute. So, uh, there's that. I've got a couple of sachets here. Um, one of them I depotted, so I'll put that back in the box in a second. But this one I have actually finished. This is the Hydrating Coconut Oil Body Scrub in Coconut Mango. This is really, really nice. Uh, smelling smells amazing, but the texture of it was just a bit weird for me. I have learnt recently that I do not like scrubs that don't dissolve. So if they're made of sugar or if they're made of salt, then they're fine because they dissolve, they break down as you put them over your skin. Whereas this, this is made from coconut shell. So that's not going to dissolve or break down as you use it. Um, so it was just a little bit harsh for me. So I won't be purchasing the full size of that one. This is Holy Grail for me. This is the Cutex Nourishing uh, Nail Polish Remover. Um, I recently re I recently purchased a different one. Don't ask me why I purchased a different one. Basically what happened was I went to Superdrug while I was on my lunch break and I needed nail polish remover and it was a case of my nails were chipped to anything and I was like, I'm going to do my nails when I get home. They need it desperately. And then I was like, crap, I do not have any nail polish remover. So I ran to the shop and I picked up this one because it was the only one that I could find in the quick time that, you know, it was my lunch break and I needed to also buy lunch and there was tons of other people in the shop and I just wasn't, I wasn't going to wander around looking for hours to find my holy grail. So I got this one. This is the Superdrug own brand nail polish remover. This has got acetone in it because I've tried the acetone free ones from them and they're crap. And let's be honest, this one is also crap. So I will always from now on, repurchase the Cutex and not anything else. Um, I have the Leighton Denny Miracle Mist. This is a um, nail polish speed drying mist. Um, it worked, but I wouldn't repurchase it because I think stuff like this is unnecessary, especially if you're using a really fast dry drop coat, fast dry top coat. Don't know what happened there. So I wouldn't buy this because why would you need to? It does the same thing as the fast drying top coat does. Um, but yes, it was nice to have. I wouldn't complain if I got it in a subscription again. I'd use it. Um, generally, I used it on my toes because on my toes I put the non fast drying top coat. Um, because when I do my toes, I do it at a time where I'm not using my feet. That sounds weird. Okay, so when you do your nails and then you're like, oh, I need to load the dishwasher or oh, I need to go to the bathroom and wash my hands after I use the bathroom. And, you know, your hands get used all the time and you're like, ah, my nails are wet. Well, because of that, I use the fast dry top coat on my nails. But I also have one that isn't fast, which I need to use up. Um, so I put that on my toes because I don't need my feet to load the dishwasher or 
wash my hands after I've been to the bathroom. So that's what I do with that one. And that's what I used the spray for, was to speed up the drying of the non-speeding drying thing. Anyway, moving on. Um, I have this. This is the Lavera um, Hand and Nail Cream. I really enjoyed the texture of this. It was really, really great. It sunk in really quickly. Um, it felt really nice. It moisturized everything great. I just did not like the smell. This is olive, uh, which olive oil, yeah, it's great for you, but it, it smelled funky. Um, Aurelia Cleanser. I love this cleanser. I will not buy the full size just because I'm more of a um, solid to oil cleanser rather than a cream all the time cleanser. Does that make sense? You know the ones that come in the tins and it's a solid form and then it melts down into oils. I prefer, I much prefer those to this kind of a cleanser. So, um, and I have some masks. I have the Tony Moly um, Iron Real sheet mask. Uh, this is for the skin purifying. This is really nice. I really enjoy these brand of masks. Um, there was the spa descriptions, pore refining. Didn't really notice it did anything, didn't refine any pores. And the By Nature Moisturising Coconut. These are also really great, but um, you have to wash them off. So they're a little bit inconvenient, right? Whereas the other two, you just push in the uh, serum into your skin. That one you have to rinse off, presumably because it has coconut oil in it and that clogs pores. But um, yeah, that's something that I decluttered. Um, so I have decluttered some other things as well. Um, stuff that wasn't in my declutter because it's stuff that I've seen as I've been going around the house and I'm like oh that needs to go in the bin or whatever um, and it wasn't officially part of the declutter I'm just seeing if I can get all the things right now um, I think this is everything um, that I've decluttered that wasn't in my declutter so I will go through why I've decluttered it I have the Balance Me uh, Radiance Face Mask um, the reason I decluttered this is because it says on it six months and I've been in the flat for a year and I had this before I moved so and I don't want to put that on my face especially as it's radiance and it probably has something some kind of acid in it and you don't want to mess around with that with um, the sell by date sell by date use by date so yeah this I'm decluttering because uh, it's just the CRT Mini Nail Polish in London, baby. It was a nice nail polish. It's a black um, base, black uh, thin base with black glitter in it. So it's just like a um, top coat for a darker nail polish. I like to put it on my blacks or on a dark blue. Um, but it's really, really thick. I don't know if you can see that if I hold it that way. The line here... Is where the polish is and if I hold it, hold it upside down it doesn't go anywhere and like this has thinner in it and I shook it and I left the thinner to soak for a while and it just did nothing so I'm going to consider that dead Um, I have the Tony and Guy prep heat protection mist this I would get again this I really really enjoyed it smells really great I'm actually quite upset that I'm having to chuck this out it still smells good but the reason that I'm chucking it out is because if you look inside it there's all like lumpy bits and I'm like I'm not sure that that's supposed to look like the ocean with seaweed in it so I don't really want to put that on my hair um, but I'd probably get it again this is the Dr Organic Bioactive Skincare Dead Sea Mineral Bioplasma Mud Mask this is something else that says six months on it and I've been here a year and I've had this like way longer than a year way way longer than a year and it's starting to get all air bubbles in it and I'm like uh, do I really want to put that on my face? Probably not. So, um, that's going. This isn't, um, in fact, all of these are probably just stuff that's just been sat in my collection, to be honest. Um, this is the Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Body Back Spray. Um, I stopped using this. It wasn't a project pan. I stopped using it because I didn't need it anymore. I'm not breaking out on my chest and back so much anymore. Um, and I didn't want to, like, when you do this, the first, like, day, it causes it to get worse and then your body gets used to it and then it actually does do good stuff 
So if you have really bad problems with chest and back acne, definitely try this. It's not like the Murad one with the 360 pump. It's not that fancy. So you do have to like contort your body to get it to your back. But it's really, really great if you use it as per the instructions. Um, but yeah, for like every now and again, like if I have a little bit of a breakout because I'm using a different perfume or whatever, and then I used this, it would make it worse because I wasn't using it as per the instructions. I was just using it as a one-off. So I stopped using that because I didn't need it consistently anymore. Um, and now it's gone bad. Um, and I also have this Tanworks Tan Maintainer. This is a general, um, a general. This is a, uh, what's the word? Oh my God. Like where you build it up. What's it called? Gradual. This is a gradual tanner. So it does, even if you don't have a tan, it gives you colour, um, which I can understand why it would maintain a tan also. Um, but again, this is something that I've had for well over 12 months, and it says 12 months on it, and fake tan you don't want to mess with. I could come out green, so that's that. I think that's everything that I'm throwing out. Everything else has been used up, or you've seen in the... Oh no, this one as well. This is definitely the last one. This is the Highland Aromatics Silky Body Lotion. Um, this says 12 months on it. And I've had it for over 12 months. And before that, it was my mother's. And she probably had it for like five years. And it smells really funky. Like really funky. So I'm not putting that on my skin. Um, and speaking of, I did lie. There is one last thing. It is this jojoba oil. Um, I know jojoba oil doesn't really have a... I mean, it doesn't have a date on it anywhere. It does not have a date on it at all. Um, but I don't know if it got exposed to heat or what, but it smells really, really bad. Oh, like really bad. Um, so I'm not going to put that on my skin and or hair or anything. So that can go in the bin as well. Um, lush pots, they can come out. Lush pot. If I, I do have some Lush Pots, like if I use things up and it's a new Lush Pot, I will show you. These are the old ones that you've seen before. Um, I finished up this E Salon Love Unconditionally Colour Safe Conditioner. Um, this was meh. It didn't do anything good to my hair, it didn't do anything bad to my hair, so probably wouldn't buy it again. It's £13, so, and for £13 I can get something de decent that does work, so. Um, I have the A1 Footworks um, Cherry Ice Foot Cream. Wouldn't buy that again. It's way too thin. Didn't do any moisturising to my feet whatsoever. Um, Clinique Clarifying Lotion in number three. This is the toner. This is just a sample size. And thank God it was just a sample size. I was so glad when this, this was done. This smelled so bad. So bad. Like, I have a question for the people who use this regularly. How do you cope with the smell? Is it just my nose? Or am I being really, really sensitive to this? It just smells so bad. And then you put it on your skin. And then it lingers on your skin and now your face smells bad. But I mean, in terms of what it did for my skin, I can't complain. Like, it was nice. It didn't really overly sting my eyes or anything bad like that. It didn't make me feel like my skin was dehydrated. It just smelled so bad. If they change the scent in that, I would consider repurchasing. But until they do, I will not put that on my face ever again. This we've talked about before. This is the Omara Vixa Cleansing Foam. I love this stuff. Would never, ever, ever buy the full size because it's £44 for a cleanser. And I'm just not that rich, so I'm not going to buy it. Um, I have the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. Um, there is still stuff on the wand, but it is so gloopy and clumpy and horrible at this point that, like, Working with it is just impossible, and you get it everywhere, and it's clumpy and lumpy all over the place, and it's messy, and just, no. Look, that's how messy it is. All I did was do that, and then close it again, and now it's on the outside of the thing. Um, I've got the Hero Project Vitamin C30 Ultra, Bright Ultra Brightening Serum. Um, this was okay. It smelt really good. Don't know if it did anything for my skin. But it did really, really, really sting my eyes. Um, it's got something in it. It's good for, like, um, uh, anti-aging. So I'm guessing it's got something, some kind of hyaluronic acid or something in it. 
Um, so it says in for ingredients, see the carton, which I don't have anymore. So I can't tell you exactly what it is that it has in it, but I did not like it on my skin. Um, it just felt like it was way too harsh and harmful for my skin. Um, so I wouldn't buy that. And it is expensive as well. I have the Delarom uh, Aqua Comfort Cream. Can't tell you what this was like on my face because it ran out of date, so I used it on my feet. And it was quite nice on my feet. So, and when I was looking up the prices of these two, I was like, this one I think is like a 30 quid moisturizer and I used it on my feet because I because I got so many of these little samples not last year but the year before for face creams and I wasn't doing much skincare like back then I do it much more now like this year alone I've gone through more than I ever have in my life in terms of skincare um but before I wasn't using it and they went bad because both of them have got six months on them so they were good for my feet both of them this one I'm going to rebuy because it smelled good and um, it's for normal to combination skin, which is basically my skin right now. But my skin's been weird. In the past, like, eight months or so, ten months that I've been doing YouTube, my skin's gone from super, super, super oily to oily combination with normal um, to more normal with a little bit of oily. So I'm going to buy this and see if it's any good for my new skin. So... Um, but I have other moisturizers to get through first. Um, the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. That splashed me. Um, the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. I love this stuff. I will definitely repurchase. Um, but right now I need to finish up another face. Uh, face. Another hair mask. And then I will rebuy this. Um, they do one in like a, diff the, a, a Neroli scent. And Neroli is like my fave. So I might buy that one and see if, you know, it's the same product. It's just got a different scent. So I might get that. Um, I have the Gatineau Gentle Silk Toner for sensitive skin. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm torn between this one. This is, it smells like it's got rose in it. Um, but it doesn't say that it's got rose in it. But it smells like it does. Um, there's this one, and then there's the Nooks one, which it does say on it that it's got rose petals in it. Um, both of those are really, really good, and really, like, fighting each other for whether which one I rebuy. Um, so, yeah, it might come down to ease of acquiring it, to be honest. Um, I know the Gatineau is only online because it's not stocked anywhere near me. Um, so... That might be the thing, but if I get this again, I definitely will not complain, ever. It smells so nice, and it was so nice on the skin. Like, you could really feel it refresh and clean, and... But it didn't strip the skin like toners do. It's alcohol-free, silicone-free, oil-free, and it just, it felt incredible. So, yes. If you, if you have easy access to this, try it, definitely try it. Especially if you like, like, rose-type things. Oh, I also have this, this new face by Carol Cole. Uh, prep and glow exfoliating cloth this was really good if you ever get one of these in a sample box use it take it out and use it immediately it was so good so so good um it, it it's supposed to take off your makeup and exfoliate and cleanse all at the same time and it did all of those things like you know when you go in with a cloth and you're like oh this is supposed to cleanse take off my makeup and you wipe it around your face and you're like, yeah, that did nothing. That wasn't like this. I did not need to clean after... I did not need to cleanse my face after this. I just ran over with toner and literally the littlest thing came on the toner pad. Um, I was so impressed with this. But they're like £9 for five, um, which is a little bit expensive. That's like almost £2 each for a cloth. Um, so I'm. it's one of those things that I might get if I feel like I'm indulging or if it was on sale. Um, I do, the company that sells these, I get points from, so I could use my points to get them, um, but I definitely would not use money to get them, because of the price, um, it's just in my head, I can't justify it, even if it's an, an amazing product, I'm not going to pay £2 for one wipe, so, um, this is the Avon Clinical E-Defense Multi Shield Lotion, uh, this has got SPF 50 in it, I really enjoyed the SPF, um, it was nice, it didn't, 
cause me any problems, no irritation, it sunk in quite nicely, didn't leave me greasy or oily or anything like that. In terms of like moisture, it was nice for my oily skin, but it wasn't like heavily moisturizing. Um, and I used 90% of it, well, 60% of it on my face. Um, and then the sun went away. So I used the rest of it on my feet because I didn't want to put it on my face once the SPF had gone bad. Um, and it seems to be nice for my feet, moisturizing wise. So there's a couple of things in the bottom of my box, which is like stuff that I had in that declutter. So I'm just going to move those around a little bit. Oh, here's something else I'm decluttering, which this breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I love this eye cream. I love this eye cream. This is the L Lanolin Age Defying Eye Cream with Manuka Honey. You cannot buy this anymore. This is discontinued. And it says on the bottom that it expires in May 2019. But I think on the box it said, like, even though it's got a date on it, it was like once opened, used within six months or so. And even though it still smells nice, you can definitely tell that the smell is turning. And because it goes on your eyes, I'm a little bit concerned that I don't want to put that, like, on my eyes if it, if the smell is turning because that doesn't that could end up something really really bad and i got a, i mean this thing is huge like in comparison what can i compare it to uh, my iphone this is the iphone 6 um like it's huge um so and i used a huge chunk like it's mostly down there um I'm just heartbroken that you can't get it anymore. Like, I got this from TK Maxx, um, which is the British version of TJ Maxx. Um, I don't know why they needed to change the letter. Anyway, um, I wish I'd picked up another one. Although, having said that, I wouldn't have been able to get through that one either. Um, but I need to find a cream that is as good as this one. Um, so this one, like, I have really dry under eyes like really super dry under eyes to the point where i cannot put a powder underneath it like uh, i try to set my concealer and it just looks super dry and cakey super super dry and cakey so nine times out of ten i won't be able to set my concealer and i know that's really really bad but the movement that i get from not setting it is less than the movement that i get if i do set it um, so yeah, that's how dry my under eyes are. And these, like, it got rid of my fine lines, it moisturized underneath there, it got rid of my dark circles, it was so good, so, so good. I'd definitely recommend this. If you find this in, like, your TJ Maxx or TK Maxx or Marshalls or, you know, those discount type stores, definitely pick it up. Um, it's really, really worth the money, really worth the money. And you can get them on Amazon now. This one, because it's been discontinued, is, like, 70 pounds um and there's another one which um it's not honey it's like aloe vera or something um and that one's 45 pounds so i'm not going to be buying either of them i need some recommendations for some good eye creams under eye creams to that will moisturize so much that it gets rid of my fine lines like so i can put my makeup on smoothly like permanently Nothing's going to get rid of my fine lines other than surgery or Botox. But, like, for my makeup, if I want to look nice and I don't want it creasing underneath, I need to delete those fine lines with a nice cream. Um, recommend me down below, like, what you would say. I'm thinking about the Kiehl's um, avocado one. Tell me what that one's like. Um, yeah, that's probably the one that I'll get. Um, tell me what that one's like if you've tried it or any other ones that you absolutely love that do that um, For night cream. I'm using the Kiehl's midnight recovery. Eye. I love this stuff for my dark circles It really 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 reduces my dark circles, but it's just not moisturizing enough um, Because my lines are that bad. So that gives you an idea of like the type of moisture that I need Okay, this is the um, Corez Santorini vine body wash. This smelled really really nice um, I wouldn't buy the full size. I'm I'm really weird about paying too much money for shower gels because they just go good down the drain and nine times out of ten the scent doesn't linger, so what's the point? Um so I wouldn't buy that. 
This I would rebuy. This is the Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave In Hair Perfector. I love this stuff. If you've not tried it, you definitely need to try it. It smells good. It's like 10, 10 different things. It's a heat protectant as well. Um, moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti breakage, heat protection, and light hold. I don't feel the hold. It just makes my hair feel soft and strong, and I would definitely get this again. Mm. I've got a sponge here. That's the Real Techniques. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's it's the one that looks weird. Um, I don't know if I talked about this in my last empties, but I won't be rebuy this. This is awful. Um, that's oh this one's empty okay um this is the avon a new ultimate night cream and um, this is the 7s night cream and um, this is just a sample size and i finished that up completely this is nice it's not as nice as the other one i had the this one a new vital night cream for it was the 25 they do it in brackets so like if you're 25 and up have this one, if you're 35 and up have this one, if you're 45 and up have this one, if you're 55 and up have this one. This was the 25 and up one. Um, this is the day cream which I'm still working on but I had the night cream of this. I much preferred the night cream of this to this night cream. So um, if I was going to get an Avon cream again I would get the pink one, not the black one. Um, and I think that's everything in terms of... Oh no! I have this. This is the Valentino Donna perfume. It's just a little sample thing. It was nice. Um, Andrew said it was nice, but like, if Andrew really, really likes the scent, he will not let go of me, and he let go of me. So I know that it was nice, but it wasn't the one. So um, if I'm going to buy a perfume and it's going to cost me a hundred pounds, then I'm not going to get one that's not the one. So. And the last thing then is the wax things. I have two of these. This is Candied Pecans by Yankee Candle. And this one is Peach Cobbler by Yankee Candle. They both smell great. Really, really fabulous. Um, however, like this, this is the Wax Addicts thing. Um, I'll link the haul down below if you didn't see it. So basically what they do is they get scents that... I don't normally have access to, like Peach Cobbler and Candied Beacons, we can't buy those from Yankee Candle in this country. Um, the USA scents only. So I really enjoy what they do in terms of being able to give, give us access to stuff that we can't normally have access to. However, they break the candles down and I think when they do that, it causes the scents, the oils that the Yankee Candle use to be burnt up quite quickly. Um, if it was a full candle, you'd smell it all the way down because the scent is mixed up in the candle. It's not just at the top. Whereas if you're going to break it down into a small section, like if you took the top layer, top inch of a candle and burnt that for five hours, then that part would stop smelling. But because it's going down and down and down and down, you're getting the oils from the lower layers whereas if you break it up and serve it like this serve it we're not eating it although candied pecans and peach cobbler you could eat i suppose um and serve it like this it sort of causes this weird like it smells great for about five minutes and then the scent dissipates and it's gone like you can put your nose over the th that's my test if i put the nose over the thing and i can't smell it then i know it's not the fact that my living room is huge is the fact that the scent is no longer working and I need to change it up. Um, and like both of these, within like four hours or so, they needed changing. They didn't smell anymore, which I'm really, really disappointed by. Um, so maybe I'll get them again? I don't know. It's, 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 it's hard to say because on the one hand, I love the fact that I get to try stuff that I've never tried before. But on the other hand, it's a waste of money if it only lasts for a few hours. Um, I want it to last maybe at least a day or so. Um, so yeah, I'll need to think about that, whether I'll get those again. Um, and I have here 
a load of the uh, Cloud9 parts. I have 10, I think. Yeah, 10. Um, these are okay. Um, I plan on doing a full review of the Cloud9 so that you guys know what it's all about. And I'll link the Etsy shop in that review and everything so you can check her out if you want to. Um, but these are all the fruit ones. All the fruit ones are done now. Um, so the uh, food ones, the bakery ones are curing right now. Um, some of these are really, really nice. Some of them I will be rebuying. But uh, out of the 16 or so that I tried, I'm only rebuying like three. So yeah, that gives you an idea of how I feel about them. Um, so it's really, really such a shame. Because this one, uh, Raspberry Lemonade, smells amazing on cold. Amazing. But they just don't have the throw. And that's for most of these. Apple and Blackcurrant didn't have a throw. Wild Berries, that actually is one that I'll be rebuying. Strawberry Milkshake didn't have a throw. Sugar Plum didn't have a throw. Rhubarb and Custard lasted about five minutes. Pina Colada didn't throw. Fresh Pear didn't throw. Damson Plum didn't throw. Satsuma didn't throw. But they all smell so good on cold. I'm so upset that uh, that doesn't transfer, especially the raspberry lemonade one. Like, if anyone can recommend um, that I'll have access to in the UK mind, anything raspberry lemonade or strawberry lemonade or um, any berry lemonade, berries and lemon, let me know in the um, in the comments. Let me know because I really, 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 really love this kind of lemonade -y type thing. To eat, to drink, and to smell, apparently. I just love, I love the tartness of the lemon and the freshness of the raspberry. It just, oh, I love that. Um, and we have, in this country, uh, Costa Coffee. They're like Starbucks, but they're owned by a different company. And um, they do a uh, raspberry lemonade. And oh my God, it was so good. Like, this one time, I really, really wanted one of their like, raspberry lemonades, and I went in, and the guy was like, no, sorry, we don't have any raspberry syrup left, and I'm like, this could break my heart a little bit. Do you have strawberry? And he was like, yeah, we have strawberry. And then I was like, can we experiment and, like, do it with strawberry instead? And he was like, I'm willing to try. Like, if you're willing to pay for it, I'm willing to try it. And I was like, okay, yeah, fine. So we did that, and that was just as great. Oh, it was so good. Like... Anything like that. Fruity lemonade, it just, it's straight. You win my heart. They win my heart. They really do. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. That's everything that was in my box that you haven't already seen. The rest of this stuff now needs to go in the bin because the declutter thing. Um, I did say in my declutter, if you wanted any of the items to let me know and I can send them out to you. It's not a selling case. It's a case of it's either going to go to you or it's going to go in the bin. So if you want it, do pipe, do pipe up and say, hi, I want this. Um, I won't get offended if you take it all. I won't get offended if you don't take any of it. But it just prevents it from going in the bin because it, some of it, most of it is gently used. Um, and I can't donate it, unfortunately. And I don't really have anyone in my life that I can just give it to. Um, I don't have a sister. I don't have a sister-in-law. I don't have a cousin who likes makeup. So it's it's a little bit hard for me to um pass it on to somebody that I know in my real life but I know you guys now um and I know you guys love makeup so if you do want it please please do let me know there are a couple of things that are spoken for but if you um send me a message either on Instagram or on YouTube or leave a note in the in the comments I'll get back to you and I'll let you know whether or not I can give it to you so yeah definitely do that um some of the things I have thrown away like the lip glosses and the liquid lipsticks because that's putting the tube back in the thing and I'm weird about that. Um, the bullet lipsticks you can um, spray with alcohol all the way around so I'm less weird about people taking those off of me. Um, so if you're comfortable with that then let me know and I can get it sent out to you. Like there's, there's no catch or anything. Honestly there are no costs. I'm willing to pay for postage as well. I just want this stuff to go to a good home um, where people will use it and love it rather than in the bin where somebody, me, but that doesn't matter, somebody spent good money on good products and they should be loved 
rather than being in the bin. So, yes. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Not sure what I'm going to be filming next, um, but um, you'll probably see this hair makeup look um, again at some point. Um, I'm really, really sorry if it bugs you that I pre-film my videos. It's just I don't like to film during the week because I'm exhausted when I come back from work and I don't want you to get exhausted, Claire. I want you to have fun, Claire, and for us to have a great conversation rather than for it to feel like I'm forcing it or anything like that. So that's why I pre-film all of my videos. I do have a full-time job. Um, but I do film a lot more when I'm like off. So like if I booked some time off, I'd film um, and spread those videos throughout the year. Um, I do do that. So yeah, just bear that in mind when you're sat there watching oh another pre-filmed video. I do have a job. Please be nice to me. Anyway, I promise I am going to go this time. So take care. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.